This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So now with vSphere 6, we can actually vMotion a running virtual machine that's under one vCenter server to another ESXi host that's under another vCenter server while it's running. So we can do this uh, as long as the vCenter servers are using the same platform services controllers that are in the same single sign-on domain. So basically we're using enhanced linked mode. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to right click on server 01. It's running. And let's go to migrate. So we're going to change both compute resource and storage. I'm going to go ahead and select the compute resource first. Click next. Because there's no shared storage I have between uh, my hosts in vCenter 01 and vCenter 02. So we're going to move it over to vCenter 01. Let's go ahead and just move it over to PHX ESXi 01.itdvds.local. Compatibility check succeeded. So that's good. Click Next. Where do we want to put it? I'll go ahead and just put it on shared 02, the data store. Compatibility checks succeeded. So that's good. I'll click Next. What folder do we want to put it in? I'll just put it in my Discovered Virtual Machine folder. Click Next. So this is nice here. We got the source network and the destination network. Now, they might be different because we are transferring them across vCenter servers. So I got my source network here and there's my destination network and we can actually see a little bit more information. If this wasn't the proper network, I could change it. So this is what the virtual NIC, Network Adapter 1, is going to be connected to when it moves over. So I'll go ahead and click Next. Now do I want to schedule the vMotion with the high priority that's going to be recommended, especially where taking it across vCenters uh, or regular vMotion. See it's lower CPU scheduling preference relative to high priority migrations. Uh, I want to give it a higher priority because this is transferring a lot of data. I want to make sure it goes over properly and, and fairly quickly. So I'll go ahead and click Next and Finish. So I'm actually going to ping server 01 while this is going on so we can just watch it, make sure there's no outage. And we can see the progress here. So this is really cool to be able to vMotion from one vCenter to another vCenter and without any shared storage or anything like that. Now in general I could say if if you're going from site to site most of the time the subnets aren't going to be the same uh, you know from your San Diego site to your Phoenix site for example you know you're not going to have the same subnet so when it gets over uh, the network the subnet that it's in is going to be different so in that case you know you'd have to go into the guest OS of the virtual machine and re-IP it to give it an IP that's appropriate for the subnet you just vMotioned it to but if the same subnet is available under both vCenters, then it should work flawlessly. Just as if you're vMotioning from one host to another host under the same vCenter. Okay, and it was completed. So we had one little blip there. That was, that was it. Just like we do with most vMotions. And we can see there it is. So now it's running. Under vCenter01. So it works really well.